Wait, wait a second. Before we attack each other and tear ourselves to shreds like a pack of pigs, let's just open the sack first and see what's actually in it. It might not even be worth the trouble. Uh, what do you think? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe. Hi. A rancid apple core, two worm eaten banana peels, a moldy rice cake, a dried up pickle, tin of sardine, bones of pile, broken eggshells, an old smushed up rotten gizzard with maggots all over it. Okay, it's worth it. Hey, howdy, hey, people of the internet, Wolfman47 Dash here, and welcome to a game called Red Lantern. So, this game has appeared in two bundles that I've been buying recently. <laughs> so, I decided if two bundles are advertising it, every time I buy the bundle, then I may as well should give it a shot just to see what it's like. So I actually first got this on the Jingle Jam bundle in December and then a humble choice decided to have it as well. So I decided, right, I've played it once already, like a sort of brief snippet of it, but this time I'm going to do a proper um, video of it. Um, or at least just, you know, an hour, half an hour, just seeing how far I get and all that. So yeah, it's got dogs in it, so yay, I like dogs. Alright, let's do this. Those moments that just stick out in your mind. Oh yeah. Those ones that just stayed with you mm -hmm. forever. When I was a kid, I was told, "You are what you do." Yep. So choose wisely. And I tried to choose doctor. That didn't take. I can still hear him. You know this. This just isn't for you. But I knew what they meant. This just isn't you. Mm. This is probably not a problem for you, is it, buddy? Okay. Chomper, world's best pup and friend. Chaser of squirrels, smeller of city streets, and chewer of literally everything. <laughs> See, you know exactly who you are. Oh, I wish I could say the same. I probably should have had a backup plan, huh? Guess I haven't exactly made the best decisions lately. <laughs> Except for adopting you, of course. Thought you would be pretty lost. And I sure as hell wouldn't be out on this road in the middle of nowhere, Alaska. But we needed a fresh start, and I've dreamed of dog sledding since I was a kid. Marco made the races sound incredible. And from how you've dragged me up and down the streets of San Francisco, I think you have dog racing dreams too. Well, let's go assemble us a team, huh, Chomper? We need four more pups to start training. Oh, hey! We just passed mile marker 32! Hey. So, the ad said that just after the mile marker, there would be a kennel with a dog sledding veteran we could adopt. Figure we can check out the pup, maybe add some experience to our team. What do you think? Find someone that compliments your yep. squirrel hunting obsessions. Maybe a calmer pup. This is a game that you doesn't use the controller. I should have said. I'm you look like a force anyway. to be reckoned with. Gale, is it? No. I don't think you'll be needing much motivation. You might need more than a nudge in the right direction, but looks like you'll set your sights on a destination and get there. I'll probably have to make sure you take some time to rest so we can keep this energy up. You really want that window open. You always need the wind in your fur. Mm. Yeah, it can be hard to be cooped up. Did you know you're about to venture into the vast expanse of the Alaskan wilderness? Yeah, who knows what's out there. Snow for sure. And plenty of running, but I'm sure we'll be surprised by what we find. That's what adventure's all about. Do you think you're ready for that, girl? You're the first one on our team. Well, you and Chopper. I may need to get someone to keep you both in line. <laughs> I can't wait to just let you loose and pull us along. <laughs> it's easy to tell that's your true calling. Get you in your element, never let that wind leave your fur. It's just a few more miles to our next stop. 
We're looking for three more pups to fill out our team and help us get to our new home. Hey, girl. Are you Finn? Quite the uh, collection you've gathered here. Are these all things you found? So you said you're pretty good with your nose. You tend to follow that more than anything else. Sometimes that led you to good things. Sometimes it led you to skunks. <laughs> your owners got tired of skunks, huh? Well, I don't really yes. know my way out there. We might need some help to find more than just the trail. And while you might not be the best at running, it'd be great to have some help to know what to do. There's a lot I don't know about the Alaskan bush. And it's probably important that I try to recognize that I don't know what I don't know. <laughs> okay, then. Seems like we could use a smart dog with a nose for the trail on our team. We'd love to have you, Finn. Hey team, I'd like to introduce you all to Finn. Finn comes to us, well, from the Alaskan bush, just like many of you do, except for you, Chopper. So Finn, you like collecting things, huh? Chopper's the same. Every morning I wake up and he's proud on my shoes in my bed and is using them as a pillow. <laughs> It's probably not quite the same. Your family said you'd never come back in from walks. You're always yearning to discover more out there. But you had a tendency to not know when you should stop and take a break. You just push and find yourself too tired to get back easily. That sounds like we'll have the right kind of adventures then. We're gonna keep going and rest along the way to, well, wherever. It sounds like you feel the same. Jumper, you approve? We're happy to have you, Finn. Oh, you're right. <laughs> We're nearly at the next stop. Thanks. Do you mind if I give you a pet? Okay, well, that's pretty good. Maybe we'll get to a pet eventually, but I will accept a cautious sniff. Oh, sweet. Hey, Chomper, you have to take it slow too, okay? She's not ready for you, your lack of personal boundaries. I'm not sure if I'm picking you based on your skills or just because I can't pass up a pup, but I am very excited about this team we've put together. We have six stops to go, and we only need to adopt two more dogs. Uh, Slayer? I'm just gonna come a little closer to get a good look at ya. Never mind, I will stay right here. How does that sound? Looks like you might need some time to get to know me. I get it. Your family did say you're a bit skittish. Are you really afraid of balloons? Yeah, I've got some weird fears too. I mean, they're totally rational. I think it's just good sense to be afraid of manhole covers. You can fall in. Bad stuff could come out. That's clearly the beginning of the end. Okay, well, that's not exactly why I moved out here. But I don't think I have to worry about manhole covers anymore. And it sounds like you're very fast. I suppose knowing when and how to escape when you're afraid of everything is a perfectly fine skill. Hmm, not sure about this one. We're not looking to run from anything. I mean, if we have to, we might, but... We're here to face it all. To see what we're really made of. Well, Slayer, what do you think? Uh... Maybe once we're settled, I'll come back for you. Great meeting you, Slayer. Yeah. Okay, so far so good. Two pups out of the three stops is a great start. We only need to adopt two more dogs, and we have five more stops. I think we'll be okay. Oh, you're not a small fella, are you? I said you were big, but you're gonna make Chomper look like he was mixed with a corgi. You're actually kind of intimidating. Okay, it sounds like you've gotten into a few fights out there in the wilderness, and that you always stuck by your musher's side, but they were afraid you would jump into a fight you couldn't win. But now you've become restless, being stuck back in the kennel, howling at night for the wild you can't get to. Well, we're hopefully going to have a nice training run out to a new home, We'll see plenty of wild things, I'm sure. And I'd like to avoid the fights I can't win, too. I think this could be good. For both of us. 
All right. What do you think? Yeah, for this one. I'm not really sure why they call you Barkley. You haven't made a single sound since I met you. Shall we give you a new name? Something that reflects your quiet nature? <laughs> slippers. Hey, slippers it is. What do you think? Okay, so uh, not quiet, just one to pick your moments. I will make sure to listen. So let's keep Barkley then. Adopting dogs is so easy. I basically just love all of you. Our team is almost complete and I've only met a few dogs. We've got four more stops to find our last team member. Okay. Let's see what we got. Icky. Hey, Glue. Where are you, girl? Huh. Hello. You know you have a house right there. You don't have to be in the snow. Right. Home is where you make it, huh, Iggy? Oh, are you just a big old snowball? Big, fluffy, loud. Uh, big, fluffy, loud. Yes, we need that. So, your owner said you're ready for an adventure. You love being out in the wild. But they've grown too old for the risks of what's out there. Well, I think we can make this happen. I've got a new life to start. You seem ready to be the wall we need if we get into trouble. And we'll all have each other's backs. I can't believe it. We're really about to do this. We've got an incredible team here, and all that's left for us is to head out to our new home. Let's see if what I've chosen is the way team. Hmm. You might have noticed I'm using a different... I've changed some of the camera settings a bit. I uh, wanted to try a different resolution because uh, it was using something that's not that my camera can do, but... I can't believe we made it to Alaska, John Burke. if it was HD. <laughs> Margo said to travel to the end of the road and then hop on the sled and travel a few days more. We'd know her cabin by the red lantern hanging by the door. And she gave us this map. It's, uh, not as helpful as I'd like. But it'll get us there. We just have to pick our path. So, you're gonna have to take the lead. It's a lot of responsibility looking out for a team, but I think you're ready for it. You ready to find our new home? <laughs> yeah. Me too. All right, let's make sure we have what we need. We've got our team. Barkley, Gail, Finn, Iggy, and the sled is all ready to go. Well, we've packed bare essentials to get us started, but we're gonna have to live off the land once we get to our cabin, so we might as well start training for that now too, right? Two pieces of raw meat. You pups can handle the uncooked raw and cold food. The kind we'll also find on the trail. But I'm gonna have to cook that up if I don't want to freeze my insides. Hypothermia is not something I'm looking to try. You know. We'll be able to set up camp once we get properly out on the trail. I scrounged up this old gun and a couple of bullets. Just in case. So we'll make do with what we have. We can use them to hunt or keep them around in case we need to protect ourselves. It is the wilderness, after all. You know, bears, moose, wolves, skunks. Oh, and most importantly, we've got one med pack. Yay. They should be able to bandage us up if something happens. Okay, well, I guess we should start. What do they say again? Uh, let's go. Off. 
Now here, we don't say left and right. We use ha for left and g for right. So, let's go. So... Let's go... Left. Ha! Oh. I'll show you one to cars. Cars have their spells to rewards. You won't survive without exploring, but going into and cars costs hunger. Okay, this is your hunger meter. If your hunger meter is empty, you need to eat sooner with slows and car. Got it. Looks like we found some birch trees. to start fires <sighs> that was more work than it should have been let's get back to it thanks for holding down the sled pups this birch will really help all right let's mush on Slow down, there's something up there. I think we should... Wow, okay, Gail, uh, I'm not even sure we should be messing with porcupines. Huh? See? They have a worse business end than skunks. I don't want to mess with that. Oh, Gail, I tried to warn you. Hold still, I got mm, you. Okay. can't just rush into things. Especially things covered in spikes. Hey, Pops. All right, let's mush on. Oh, I'm sorry, girl. I wish I could provide better warnings about porcupines. They actually have a pointy end. I wish you didn't have to learn by doing I know it's bothering you, but let's mush on. Let's set up camp as soon as we can. Let's take a break. We uh, set up a pretty good camp. We've got our meat all strung up to be out of reach of bears. And we can make a fire. It'll be nice to cook up some food or warm my bones. And of course, I can check on all of you. Yeah, you can eat meat for your hunger meter, right here. Use double to be just for the energy. And you can save some and blah 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 blah. Okay. Maybe we should eat. A fire would be nice. Birch bark works wonders for starting fires. We should eat. I'm ready to cook some food. Oh, hold on. Did I do that? Maybe we should eat. I'm ready to cook some food. Okay. Get back on the trail. Ready to go? Should have fed the dogs as well. No, no one. Now it's supposed to be a delicacy. What do you think, pups? We'll check it. Hey, little bunny. All right, Chomper. On my call, you get to. All right, leave it, Chomper. All right, let's go. 
<laughs> you cups do okay? Ready to go? Now what? Oh. Uh, well, we're going right. Gee. We're going right this time. Oh, hello. Is that not too late? Oh, dear. Oh, you're a big fella, aren't you? It's okay, pups. I got this. can't only hunt when it makes me feel good, but I have enough food for now, so I'm gonna go. Yeah, let's leave it me. I'm back. All right, let's mush on. Okay, my edge is getting low, as is the dogs. What do you think? What is that? Oh. I'll check. Oh, why are you? Oh, hello. Eh, uh, I'll let the dogs okay, have Okay, my call? You're gonna try to get yourselves a meal. Hold. Hold. Okay, go! Sheesh. Y'all are great at catching these birds. Maybe we shouldn't try to have chickens at our new home. Eh, I don't need eggs. I think I like these ptarmigans. They all look very full. Yay. You know, y'all don't have to follow me. Let's be safe out there. I think I'm gonna camp. Let's set up camp as soon as we can. Let's take a break. Energy and hunger will lose capacity. As you lose more capacity, you'll become time eventually exhausted. So you can stop that. Sleep at the canvas to store. Okay. Take a break, pups. Right, they're all pretty full anyway, so. Um, I don't need it. How do I go to sleep? Ah. I'm not ready for the long sleep. I need to eat. I don't think I'll wake up. Okay. Let's eat then. Maybe we should eat. A fire would be nice. Birch bark works wonders for starting fires. Maybe we should eat. I'm ready to cook some food. To get some rest. I'm sure my stomach will be grumbling by morning, but the dogs will be energized. Well, should we go to sleep? Yes. Six hours pass. All right. Everyone feeling better? Okay. How's your nose, girl? Yeah, I know. It's painful. You can't just rush in like that. Come here, buggy. Pets, pets, pets. It's okay. You don't have to be the petting type. You barely know me. But I think you'll grow to like me. I already like you. Let's just take it slow and we'll find ways to show we trust one another. Ready for pets, Barkley? Chomper loves pets. 
Okay, back to it. I guess. Get back on the trail? All right, let's mush on. Hmm. Let's go. Uh, G. What do you smell, girl? There's something worth checking out up there? What you tracking, girl? Oh, Finn, get out of there! Oh, no. <sighs> Maybe his owners warned us. But hey, you followed your nose, and it could have been something amazing. We'll try again sometime. You cups do okay? Let's be safe out there. Didn't work out this time, Finn, but I trust what you can find. You've got a nose that shows you far more than I can see. And you're probably used to smelling like skunk right now. Hmm. Let's go. I'll just rest my eyes. Keep on running, pups. I starved. No. Oh. <sighs> a nightmare. Whoa. Okay, well, at least I have an idea of what could happen to me out there. Oh. Yeah, we uh we really need to take care of ourselves out there. We've got a lot of stomachs to think about. I can't take care of you if I don't have the strength to keep my eyes open. We have to plan ahead. Are we ready for this? I know what to be wary of. Hmm, okay. There's lots more water on the players, there's just so much ice. It's nice to be identified a birch tree. I almost didn't even see them. Well, that was um, interesting, and um, I'm actually kind of glad that I didn't cause too much um, upset. Of course, yeah, there was a little bit of animal cruelty, but yeah, it's probably going to get very emotional if I did continue with this game. So yeah, but yeah, I think it just comes across as the sort of game that does have sort of multiple endings um, and different ways of doing it, which is great. Good, the best games are like that. So yeah, but you know, with it being dogs, and uh, it does kind of feel like an upset. It would be an upsetting game, but yeah, because they're just so adorable. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then please like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you next one. Peace to you all. And remember to remember if you ever do something like this, always be prepared. Be prepared to look after yourself. Be prepared to look after the parts, but also be prepared for the unexpected. So yeah, all right. Doodles.